Hello and welcome to Structural Analysis MCAD. The following is a brief uh, presentation on how you can use our wind load on pull design sheet to quickly and efficiently find the wind loads, the moments, and shears on the structures you design. The sheet was specifically designed for pulls using ASC 710 but can easily be modified for other types of structures. This sheet, uh, in order to use this sheet, you simply input the wind speed you're going to use, gust factors, topographic factors, you click on the exposure category you want. And then on the next sheet you put in the geometries you're interested in. So here we have the heights of each section of the pole or, uh, or the sign, the widths or diameters, and the shape factor. And as you noticed in, all, in these vectors there's a lot of zeros. These are essentially placeholders so you can put a lot of segments or, or only one segment in, into your a structure and then the sheet automatically updates these vectors accordingly. So for example if we wanted to add another segment we just put the height at which that uh, segment is and the width so we'll say 50 inches and then I click here and you can see that these vectors both adjusted. So this is automatically calculating the force coefficient or and wind directionality factors. If you wanted to do another type of structure you would just come in here and type in whatever factor you found or calculated and then this vector then it overrides this vector as you see here. So in this case we're just going to keep it at zero. And then as we come down here below you can see what the inputs that you've done uh, draw. So the red represents the structure itself, the blue represents the wind pressure on that section of the structure, and the black represents a resultant force at the centroid of that pressure. And now let's say we wanted to add a sign at this elevation. We would simply come up to the correct location in the in the vector. We'll say uh, we put it, make it the sign 120 inches wide. And you can see how that updates to have a large sign. And here we would just have to change the shape factor from a one to a zero to represent a change from a round to a square uh, a surface. You can see that that increases the pressure quite a bit in those areas but it also makes it harder to see the resultant forces in, on the pole. So here we can adjust the scale factor on the plot so you can see those different loads and how they compare in the different sections. Also one thing to note, uh, for example in this area where there's just one cross section you'll notice uh, three different wind pressures. That's because these designs were based on the velocity pressure exposure coefficient from ASC 7 so the sheet automatically checks the elevations at each point and breaks the, the structure up into those so you have the correct coefficients. Now once your structure is completely input and designed, you come down here and you can get the results of the moment in shear. So if we wanted to, for example, know the moments in shears at 30 feet, we would come in here to this, uh, this input, put it 30 feet in, and then this is the exact moment in shear at that location. We also have the moment in shear at the bottom of the structure and the moment in shear at every change in width or diameter. We know this, this sheet will be uh, beneficial for you and your company to help you uh, do these wind calculations quickly and efficiently. We thank you for your time and your interest in Structural Analysis MCAD. Be sure to check out our website to see all of our MathCAD sheets, which include our fixed base plate sheet which helps you design base plates with multiple rows of anchor bolts and finds the tension in the anchor bolts. Our anchor bolt design sheet that helps you quickly design cast in place, epoxy, or expansion anchor bolts. And our matrix method sheet which helps you quickly analyze any small plane frame structure with a variety of loading conditions.